This beauty is Themida avanaceae or tall oat grass. I was very excited to see this one come after the rain this summer. Um, it's its first appearance here. I have noticed there's actually quite a bit of it on the uh, TSRs, particularly around Inverell and, and West, um, but you don't often see it in grazed pastures because it's quite palatable and produces quite a bit of quite delicious leaf material. It's quite spectacular in terms of the, the height of the plant, so it can grow nearly to, well, these are probably 1.8 metres high. The leaf material's at least 50 centimetres high. This particular plant is one of a few that have a really interesting structure called spathes. So it's a leaf-like structure that's associated with the seed head. So this one and the more, more common kangaroo grass. So this is the, the spathe that's associated with the, with the seeds of the, um, the tall oak grass. So each of the each of the seeds has got a has got a leaf-like structure associated with it, which is typical of um, of the kangaroo grass. So these seeds have a have a really lovely ornus attached um, with, with a bit of a spiral, but they tend to be quite straight. Of this one, a lot of the native grasses have um, have a a red stem, but you can. You can see quite clearly on, on this one. So there's a, a node and another node. So the internode section or the stem is, um, is quite red, whereas the leaf sheath you can see quite distinctly. Um, coming up to the junction there, the collar of the leaf and the leaf blade. With this particular grass, just the, the actual height of the plant is probably its most outstanding feature. You don't often see individual plants. You'll see a clump, you know, a population of, of plants in, in a clump as a, as a rule. As I said, pretty much restricted to the TSRs, but um, I was very excited to see these here this year.